16, 1, 2. 1, 2. Here we go. GE. AutoCAD. 3D modeling. Furniture modeling. Part 2. Okay, uh, I did a Google search of uh, table dimensions under images, and a bunch of tables came up for me here. Uh, some are in inches, some are in centimeters. Um, you can pick whatever you like. Um, I'm going to come down here and look if I find one I like. How about this one? How about this one right there with the angles? That'll be a little bit fun. Okay. So that's the one we're going to build here. And make sure I double click on that. Just need to pull that back out. Don't mind me. There we go. Slide this off the side there. Okay. So my dimensions, if we look at there, are like 74. I think what I'm going to do here is leave that like that and I'll just pick the AutoCAD and it will come up and then we will be able to go. Okay, well it looks like it was 30 inches tall. That's standard for any table. This table, uh, the top of this table is 74 and the width is, width is 33 and a half. So we'll work with those. Okay, so let's go here. And pick our little place and go length. And let's go 33.5, enter, 74, enter, and I'm going to go 1 and 0.5, and that's going to be my top. Okay. And then, um, Looks like my legs are 30 and a half to the outside corners and 62 and a quarter. So I'm just going to make them 30 by 62. That'll be a little easier than trying to do lots of editing and subtracting. Okay, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to make this a 4 by 4. So I'm going to go length. 3.5, enter, 3.5, enter, and I said it was 30 inches tall, so let's go over there. And then I am going to come around the side here. To the right side, there we go. Drag that over there where you can see it. And I'm going to rotate this, and so I am, I'm in left, so I need to be in left here. Okay, and I can do R for rotate. Yours is RO, enter, at this point, and let's go five degrees. There we go. And then I'm going to take that, and I am going to go to modify and pick mirror and I'm going to pick up point any point and then mirror it right there. I'm going to move this up and I should go up 30, I bet you. It'll be about right. And move that across. Okay. And um, if I go look at my picture a little bit here, looks like we want to come in a bit. So if we're at 62 and a quarter on the base, can, we can measure that. We can go over here just like this with our dimension distance. And I'm going to come out at 62 here. And right now our distance is uh, 6 feet, which is 72. Um, so we're way big. So we're like 10. I'm going to move this about 14 inches and let's see what we got then. Okay, 4 feet 10. Let's just pick this point here. So I'm going to go line and go 62. And I move this from that point to that point there. I'm going to draw a line here, my center point. I'm going to move this 
from that midpoint to that midpoint there. And I bet you everything's going to be out of whack when we flip around here and go into home. Go to world. My AutoCAD is being glitchy. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little trick here. There's another thing you can pull up, and it is it is um, view. If I remember right, there it is. Great, great little toolbar. Pop that up here. And if you find that the view cube is not working for you or is not working well, you can go up and use this view toolbar and it will flip things exactly where you want them. Look at that. I find it works much better than the view cube. So, okay, so let's swing this puppy around here. There we go. We've got our two legs. Okay, we're centered. Now I'm going to come around here and. There we go. Okay. It's a side view. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to drop a line from here, in the center there. And then um, I'm going to move this in. I'm going to move this four inches. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to mirror it. go and then if you notice I got that there's a little angle on the bottom of my feet and I don't like that so I'm gonna go here and get into this there we go get rid of my red lines here all done with those and I am going to turn that off and so here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take my top here and I'm gonna go copy I'm going to go down and I'm going to go about, I'm just, looks like, looks like 30 inches, okay. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to do my little orbit here just a little bit so I can grab everything. I'm going to go over here. Go subtract. And I'm going to grab all four of these and subtract that. Great. So now my feet are flat. Let's go look at my drawing again. Okay. Great. That looks good. And then we need an apron along the bottom here. So we're going to add that. And uh, I'm going to take my top here and I'm going to union this whole thing right now. So I'm just going to go union. We'll grab everything and there we go so now it's all one piece okay and then I'm going to go in here and go to just an angle that works for me I'll go to box and I'm going to make a apron here and I'm going to go length and I'm going to go how about 10 and 2 and 1 okay Take that and move it Come right up underneath here and set that there until I get underneath where I can see. There we go. I'm going to move this from there to there. And I'm going to move this back about one. Okay. Then I'm going to move the face of it. From there to there. I'm going to copy it, bring it out here, and I'm going to rotate it. Ninety. And let's go back up to here. I rotated it the wrong way, so we'll just undo that. Back up here. First of all, I can move.
this to here because I'll need it there. And I'm going to copy it again and bring it out here. Now I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to rotate around the blue. There we go. Take that and move it from that point right there to should be able to find that corner up there. There it is right there. If I come underneath here. There we go. And I am going to take that and I'm going to move that face from there to that in. And actually I'm going to go to the other end of the table. So I'm actually inside that table because those legs splay out. And I'm going to move this over just a little bit from here to there. So they're inside the legs. Now I'm going to move them back an inch. Or an inch. There we go. And I'm going to come around the bottom here. And zip this up here. And actually, I'm just going to use my mirror to put these in place. Oh, look at this. I am short here. Something I'm short there, so I need to fix that. So I'm going to move that face from there to there. Okay. I'll throw that one away. I'll copy this. Okay, so I'm going to take this one here. And I am going to mirror that off the midpoint here of this table, right there. There it is, okay. And then I'm going to come around this side here. And I'm going to go into my wireframe. And there I have my end piece. I'm going to move that one inch in. And then I'm going to mirror that from my midpoint to there. And then I'm going to take those. It looks like, ah, okay. I'm going to move that from there to there. And Go on top. Okay. I guess that's okay. Delete that one and just mirror this one. So they're both the same. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to go up to Union. I'm going to grab everything and Union it. And there we go. Okay, that looks good. Okay. And I believe my uh, has a trestle down at the bottom here. Okay, we can do that too. Again, I can use because I uh, if I draw and use the plane here, I can draw in the same angle. I'm gonna go to my box. I'm gonna come sneak over here and get close. Notice that my cursor changed. See, see my blue cursor up 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 and down north and south and now it's coming out so i'm going to pick and i'm going to go line and i'm going to go i'll pick the middle of this right here and i'm going to come up 3.5 and i'm going to make this um uh, two a little bit deeper there you go and i'm going to go in uh, about three. Okay. I'm going to mirror that. There it goes. There we go. Okay. 
And then I'm going to union that all again. And there's my table. And I believe if we looked at this table, there's like you wanted to have the lines in it, you could do that. So but I'm just going to let it go for right now. And there's my table, and there it is in gray. If I spin it around, it looks pretty good. Okay. And where's my chair? Let's get my chair and bring it next to it. So just move the, take the chair, pick a point on it, move it. Drop it in your leg. And move it. And now my chair looks really out of scale, doesn't it? We're going to have to check on that. And uh, make that uh, 11. Okay. Looks like a kitty chair. Let's take a look and see what happened here. What's the height of this chair? From there to there. And that height is 1.2, which is 14 in inches, which is not enough. It's and let's check our table here and our distance from here to there is yeah I'm just gonna have to from that corner to that corner and the delta two feet six z is two feet six and that's what it should be so I'm going to scale this up here, and I'm going to just go over here, and I'm going to go scale. I'm going to pick a point, and I'm going to go 1.5. There we go. That looks a little better. Let's see what our height is here. We want it to be around 18. So this is 1.9, so that's 12, and 9 is 21, so it's a little tall. So I can just scale it down. And, and here I'll show you, this is one of my favorite things to do. This is scale to reference. So I'm going to move this out here like that. I'm going to come over here, draw a line out, and I'm going to come up 18 inches, okay? There we go. And I'm going to draw a line from here and make sure that these, there you go. So those two are in line, okay? So I'm going to grab my chair. I'm going to go, go scale. And I am going to pick this right there. Okay. And then I'm going to hit R for um, reference. Pick that right there. And then I'm going to go from there to there. Now that should be 18 inches tall. And we are really close. So, okay. Excellent. There we go. So that's a scale chair. And there we go. Let's go on top here. Mirror it. Okay. And copy it. And rotate it. Move it. And copy it again. And copy it again. Move three of them up here like about like that. Let's move them in a little bit. And oops. They are completely 180 the wrong way, so I'm going to just move them right over to this other side, to like that. See, there's the back of the chair right there. And I'm going to take them, and I'm going to mirror them again to the far side. There we go. And now let's take a look and see what that looks like. Oh, there's some table and chairs. And go to the left side here. Right side. Oh, that looks good. That looks just great. So there's your table and chairs. Under 20 minutes. What a deal. Okay.